continuous distribution here just any uh, normal you know discrete distribution just to explain you so one two three four five six seven eight nine let's say these are my numbers or these are marks out of ten you can say and then uh, this is the frequency of occurring these marks so for example eight students are getting let's say i have total 120 students so eight are getting one mark then 10 are getting two mark and like that understand 15 18 19 20 and 6 okay so mode is basically uh, actually um, yeah okay sorry the mode is basically the uh, you know out of your xi whichever is occurring the maximum number of time that is the mode of this data for example as you can see the highest frequency is of this right this is the highest frequency 25 yes, so, so the mode of this data is equal to 6 i mean this is your data right this is just its frequency but your actual data is your xi out of your xi the value 6 is the mode of this data understand yes sir. okay yes. all right martin can you hear me now yes okay but in this class 10th we have to learn about continuous distribution of data and how to find its mode so let us do it i am taking an example let's say um, this is my class interval here any class interval so i'm taking 0 to 4 and then 4 to 8 8 to 12 12 to 16 right and 16 to 20 20 to 24 24 to 28 28 to 32 32 to 36 and 36 to 40 right these are my class intervals and let's write the frequency So its frequency is 5 and 7, 9, 17, 12, 10, uh, 6, 3, 1, and 0, right? Now you have class interval. You don't have exact xi, so you cannot directly say. So there's a formula for mode here. Then I'll explain one by one. First you write. So mode is equal to? L plus F minus F1 divided by 2F minus F1 minus of F2, right? And into H. I mean, this bracket is multiplied by H. Now, one by one. Uh, so, L is equal to lower limit of modal class i'll explain right first you note down then i'll explain it and then f is equal to frequency of the modal class H is width of model class. Now F1 and F2 are frequency of class preceding the model class and f2 is the frequency of class following the model class yes hello rida can you hear me 
Yes, ma'am. Okay, so Rida, I've just started what is mode of continuous distribution. So this is the formula I have written. Please write it down and then I'll explain one by one everything. Okay. So this is just an example I've taken. So with the help of this example, I'll explain you how to find mode, but you write down this thing. Yes, written? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Hamna, Martin? Yes, ma'am, done. All right, Martin, done? No, I'm doing, I'm doing. Okay, just complete it. And then you underline this thing, preceding and following, okay? These are important words. Okay, Okay, Hamna, tell me one thing. Uh, this chapter is over in your school, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so have they also taught the grouping method for finding the mode or just the formula? Um, just the formula. Okay, fine. All right, Martin, now see here. Okay, done, ma'am. Okay, take a picture, right? You can note down later. Okay, now Subana is also coming. What? Hello, Subana, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Subana, quickly take the picture of the screen that, that you can write later. I am explaining what is mode, okay? Yes, ma'am, I take so, it. All right, so this is the formula. Now I'll explain how to use it. Okay, now first of all, uh, let us understand each term. This is an example I have taken. So these are my class intervals and these are my frequency, right? So the first thing is, uh, you can write that. Uh, step one, you can say, note the maximum frequency. Right? Note the maximum frequency. So the class corresponding to maximum frequency is the modal class. Yeah, okay, ma'am. I done. Okay. Yeah. Okay, everyone. So out of this data, this example I have taken, what is the maximum frequency you can see? That is 17. Okay. 17 is the maximum frequency. 
So the class which is corresponding to this 17 is your modal class. Understand? This is your modal class. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So don't this write. Is... Yeah. Okay. I'm just saying this is the modal class, right? Make a circle. I mean, make a column. Sorry, make a box like this on it, right? You don't have to write modal class here. I mean, you can write separately also. I am writing just to explain you. And this corresponding frequency is your F. Understand? This is the frequency of the modal class as I have written here. All right? Now, L is the lower limit of the modal class. So the modal class is 12 to 16. Now, what is the lower limit? 12. So your L is equal to 12. Fine. Okay, now yeah. width of the modal class, width means like how much is the gap in between. So 16 minus 12 is 4. So H is equal to 16 minus 12 is equal to 4. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now F is the frequency of the modal class. Okay, now F1, frequency of the class preceding the modal class. I mean, just the previous frequency that is 9. So this 9 is your F1, right? And F2 is the frequency following the modal class. So the next 12 is your F2. See, in NCRT, uh, this uh, uh, is a bit confusing, right? They have used F0, F1, F2. So I think this one is a better uh, way to remember it. F, you can understand directly, is the frequency of the modal class. F1 is the previous one and F2 is the next one. Okay. Now, just simply put this in the formula and find the mode. So, you note down everything. Now, how much is L? L is 12. H is 4, right? Your F is uh, how much? 17. Okay. F1 is equal to 9. F2 is equal to 12. Right? That's it? Okay. Now, put everything in the formula. So, mode is equal to L plus F minus F1 divided by 2F minus F1 minus F2 multiplied by H. Okay. So you write L is how much? 12 plus your frequency is, what was the frequency? 17. So 17 minus F1 is 9 divided by 2 into 17 minus 9 minus 12 and H is 4. Understand? So this you can solve. So 12 plus how much is 17 minus 9? It will be. Yes, how much it is? 17 minus 9 is 8. Yes, okay. Yeah. Okay, 8 and okay, 17 into 2 is 34. So 34 and this minus minus you can add. So it will become minus of 21 and multiplied by 4. So this becomes 12 plus 8 upon this is 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 minus 2 is 1, 13. And this into 4. Uh, so this you have to solve. So this is 12 plus. Uh, so I mean you have to multiply. Uh, 4 into 8 is how much? 32 divided by 13. So this you can divide separately. 32 and 13. So 13 into 3 is 39. So 13 into 2, 26. Then you have 12 minus 6. That is 6. Point put a 0. Then 13 into 5 is 65. So 13 into 4, it will go. How much? Multiply. Okay, 4, 12, 52. So 13 into uh, 4 is, sorry, 52. And then you have 10 minus 2, which is 8. Make it 80. Then you have 13 into 5 is 65. Then 13 into 7. No, 13 into 6 is how much? 18 carry 1, 98. So 13 into 6 is 98. Oh, no, sorry, not 98. 78, I'm sorry. 
78, then you have two. So up to two places of decimal you can find, okay? Otherwise it will go on. So you can stop at two places of decimal. So this will become 12 plus 2.46, which you can add. So this will be 14.46. This is the mode of this data. I hope you understand now. Okay, let us do NCRT exercise. Yes, Martin, did you complete the homework I gave you? Last class. Yes, last class. Exercise 14.1, have you solved it? Yeah. Which one? Second one, of course. First exercise, mean. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, See, Martin, no, no, you have to solve it. You know, otherwise you will forget everything. There will be no use of it. Now today, complete the homework, okay? Now you are having mm -hmm. holidays, weekend. Okay. Please complete it. Okay, now 14.2, I'm starting. The following table shows the ages of patient and the number of patient. Find the mode and the mean, right? Both you have to find. Compare and interpret the two measures of central tendency. Okay, so let us first of all find out mm, mode and mean. So let's find out mean first of all. You write age here in years. So that is 5 to 15, 15 to 25, 25 to 35, and 35 to 45. And you have 45 to 55, then 55 to 65. Then your number of patients. Now this is your FI, right? We denote by FI. 6, 11, 21, 23, 14, and 5. Okay, now you find the middle value. That is your XI, right? Which is class mark or the middle value. Okay, what is the middle value of 5 and 15? Use the formula upper class limit plus lower class limit divided by 2, right? Yeah, so that is 20 by 2, which is 10. And it was very obvious also that you can see the middle value will be 10. Understand? Yes. Yeah. Okay, now 5 and 25. So it's going to be 20. And this is going to be 30, 40, 50, and 60. Right? Okay. Uh, next. So let us do assumed mean. Okay, Hamna. Yes, okay, let's do assumed mean. So I take this 40 as my A. Okay. So the next column is DI, which is XI minus of A, right? All right. So 10 minus 40. Okay, let me write first of all. So 10 minus 40 minus of 30. Then you have 10 minus 20, which is minus of 10. Then 10 minus 30. Oh, what I'm doing? Okay, sorry, sorry, I have written in reverse order. I'm sorry. 40 was my A and 10 was the frequency. Just one minute. Writing here. So DI is XI minus A. Sorry, A, it is X, XI minus A. Sorry, the first one was right. So 10 minus 40. Then it will be 20 minus 40, 30 minus 40. Then you have 40 minus 40, 50 minus 40, and 60 minus 40. Now it's fine. Okay. So 10 minus 40 is minus 30. This is minus 20, minus of 10. This is 0 and 10, and this is 20. All right. 
Okay, so the next is we multiply Fi into Di. Fi Di. All right, so six into minus of 30. The next will be 11 into minus of 20. 21 into minus of 10. Then 23 into zero. 14 into 10. 5 into 20, right? So six into three is 18 minus 180. This will become zero, you can write, and then 22 minus of 220. This will become minus of 210. This is zero. This is uh, 140. And this is 5 into 210, so 100. Okay, so now two summation which I need are. Yeah, so one is this. I need summation of Fi. Now, please tell me how much is summation of Fi. And how much is summation of Fi di? Hello, Abdullah. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Abdullah, I'm doing statistics. You were absent in the last class. So have you started the chapter in your school? Yes, ma'am. I, I did. So, okay, so I hope you understand what I'm doing. So I have just started exercise 14.2. First question. Okay. Okay, so for in this question, we have to find mean and mode. If you can see that in your book. So this is the question, right? So first of all, I'm finding mean by the assumed mean method for this data. Okay, how much is summation of Fi? Sorry, louder? 8080, eight, okay. How much is Fi Di? Minus 460. Minus? Are you sure? Yeah, ma'am, because like, there's only two plus values. Hmm. How much? Minus? 460. Yeah, is, is there someone else getting it? Yes, Hamna, how much is this? Summation of FIDI? Please tell me, do the calculation part. Sorry. Who is speaking? Subhana, now you tell me quickly. I think I have to do it myself, right? So 180 minus 220 minus 210. So if I add it, I get 0, 8 and 2, 10 and 1, 11, carry 1, 4, 5, 6. So I'm getting minus of 6, 110. And this becomes 240. So this becomes 11 minus 4 will be how much? Uh, 5, right? No, sorry. Sorry, 7, right? 11 minus 4 will be 7. And then you have uh, 5 minus 2 is 1. I'm getting minus of 170. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. This will become 5 minus 2. Minus of 370 I'm getting. Now this is really bad. No one is speaking. Abdullah, can, can you just tell me how much is summation FIDI of this data? Ma'am, it's minus 370. Minus of 370, right? Martin, now check your calculations. Uh,
okay so minus of 370 so what is the formula for mean this was uh, a plus summation of fi di and divided by summation of fi is this right everyone i hope you remember that yes ma'am okay now your a was 40 we have chosen plus summation of fi di is minus of 370 i'm getting and this summation of fi is 80 right so this becomes 40 plus minus minus 10 will cancel out so 37 divided by 8 uh, this division you can carry out separately. Sorry, I'm writing 37 divided by 8. So 8 into 4 will be 32. Then you have 5. Okay, so 8 into uh, 6 will be 48. Then you have 20. So 8 into um, 2 will be 16. Then you have 4, 45. So, right. So I'm getting 40 minus 4.625. So what will you get? Please subtract 4.625. So please see I'm doing these, all these calculations because I want you to do everything like this. Okay. Don't make any shortcut. Otherwise you will make mistakes. So just make a rough column on the side of your paper like this and do everything by hand. Okay. 10 minus 5, 5, 9 minus 2, 7, then you have 9 minus 6, 3, now you have 9 minus 4, uh, 5, and then you have 3. So I'm getting 35.375 as my uh, mean of this data. Right? Yeah, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Now let us find the mode of this data. So instead of writing everything again, let us do it here. Now, how much is the highest frequency here? Um, is it 35 to 45? So, sorry, no. 55 to 65. No, no, highest frequency. Frequency is this. First of all, look at the highest number. That is 23. Okay, right? yes, 23. Okay. Yeah. So this is your F, right? Highest frequency is your F. Now the class which is corresponding to this class is your modal class. Understand? Yes. Okay. So I'm just writing here. Okay. Now you note in your copy, right? Like this. So your F is uh, 23. Now how much is F1? Just the previous frequency preceding. So that is 21, right? Then your F2 is the next frequency here. This is 14 right okay now 35 to 45 so what is the lower limit of this model class that is l so that is 35 and how much is the size of this class 10 10 so there's a gap of 10 here right now you will tell me all these values please note noted Okay, so I hope you have noted all these things. Now tell me. Mode. What is the formula? I have just told you. Uh, sigma FI DI. A plus Sigma FI DI. Oh. Have a sigma FI. That was of mean. Martin, now we are finding... L plus F1 minus F0 by 2 F1 minus F0 minus F2 into H. Okay, now Rida, the formula which you are telling me, see, you have to fix a formula for you because in NCRT, you know, what they do is uh, this F1, they are actually calling the frequency of your modal class, understand? And then F0, they are saying preceding one and then F2, they are saying the following one. So there's a different, there's a difference in the notation used in the NCRT and the notation I am using here. So you have to mention which, what is your F, what is your F1, what is your F2 when you are using the formula, understand? Okay. Yeah, so I am just showing you my formula. You, I think you have noted in the beginning. 
let me just scroll it so in case someone has not noted my notations please take a picture of this screen right so the notation i am using here my single f is actually denoting the frequency of the modal class right now f1 is your preceding frequency f2 is the following frequency according to my notations here and i find this one more simple or to remember i think it's your choice otherwise all right okay okay so according to this now let us put everything how much is l 35 right okay frequency how much is the frequency of the modal class sorry into h was also there yeah come on tell me 23, 23 minus f1 21 21 okay divided by 2f that means 2 into 23 minus f1 which is 21 how much is f2 14 14 14 okay and then your h is 10 right i hope you are telling me correct so 35 plus this is 2 divided by 2 into 3 6 2 into 2 4 46 and this you can add so 4 and 1 5 2 and 1 3 minus 35 and into 10 right okay so this is 35 plus 2 divided by how much is this 35 10 11, 11 11 right 11 into 10 so this is 35 plus that becomes 20 divided by 11 so this calculation you can do separately 20 divided by 11 so 11 into 1 is 11 so you have 10 minus 1 that is 9 right now zero so 11 into 8 is 88 this will become 2 make it 20 11 into 1 is uh sorry 11 then again you have a 9 It will become ninety and eight. So up to three places of decimal we can find because our mean is up to three places of decimal. Understand? That's why. So that is thirty-five plus one point eight one eight. How much is it? So that is thirty-six point eight one eight. Right. So now you compare. What was the value of mean? Yes, we have just calculated the mean. Come on, mean was thirty five point three seven five, right? And this is the mode. Okay, which one is higher here? And the mode. Mode is higher. Okay. So, what can you conclude here? What is the data is about? So, data is about age and the number of patients in a hospital. Understand? now what is the meaning of mode mode means the value which is occurring the maximum number of times understand yes ma'am okay so that means a uh, maximum number of patients which are admitted in this hospital are having this age understand yes ma'am okay and the average age of the patients which are admitted in the hospital is this so you have to write this because it's written in the question that you have to uh and both you have to compare okay so show the mode how you find like mode. the term sorry martin say again i think it's wrong yeah thank you sorry i didn't understand your question say again no i just wanted to to show mode yeah yeah mode first of all we have calculated mode with the help of this formula right now what is the meaning of mode meaning of mode is the value which is occurring the maximum number of times in the data is the mode of that data okay i think you were not able to hear in the beginning uh i just took one example let me just show you one minute see here for example this is the data of any xi and fi right let's say uh these xi are the marks out of 10 and f is the number of students who are getting it right so there are total 120 students in the class 
So eight students are getting one mark, 10 students are getting two mark, 11 are getting three mark like that. So how much is the maximum frequency you can see here? That is 25, right? Yes. Okay. And the corresponding marks are six. So that means maximum number of students are getting six marks here, right? So the mode of this is occurring the most times. Yeah. No, six is occurring occurring the most times, not 25. 25, oh. 25 is the number of times, right? And the data is actually this thing. So your XI is your data. Understand? Yeah, man. So out of your data, the this value six is occurring most number of times. So that means this is the mode of this data. Understand? Yeah, man. And then when the data is twice, right? Yeah, mode is actually the value uh, which is occurring. Maximum number of times. Uh, value, I mean, bracket, you can write your xi, right? That means out of your xi, whichever xi is occurring maximum number of times, that is the mode of the data. Understand? So six marks, I mean, 25 students are getting it. So six is the mark, which is coming most of the times. I hope that's clear. Yeah. Okay. So see, now this was just a discrete data, you know, one, two, three separate numbers are there. Now, if your data is of this kind, five to 10, 10 to 15. So out for this, you cannot directly say the exact number here, right? Because this is the class. So we have a formula for finding the mode. So with the help of this formula, for this question, we have found the mode, right? So that mm -hmm. means we can say maximum number of patients admitted in the hospital are of age 36.818 years. I hope this is clear, right? Okay. Uh, while, so maximum means mode, right? And average means mean. While average, sorry, average age of the patients admitted in the hospital, average age of a patient admitted in the hospital is that is your mean right mean is 35.375 years is this clear to everyone abdullah hamna subhana okay who is here hamna yes, martin and rita all right shall we move to the next question now let's go up to the mode sure just a minute okay rida and hamna please start doing the next question this one martin Okay, next question. Okay. Now, I think next question I can give in the homework. Just simple mode you have to find.
Now see here, this is your question number two. So Martin, which is the maximum frequency you can see here in question number two? 61, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Simple. You don't even have to make columns here. But simply looking here, you can note your frequency is 61, right? Okay. So just the previous frequency is your F1, which is 52. And the preceding frequency is your 38. I mean, the frequency of the next class, right? Okay. So this is your modal class. Now for this modal class, your L is lower limit. That is 60, right? Now, H is the gap here. That is how much you can see 20. So, your H class size is 20. Now, you can put everything in the formula and find the mode. So, you can write modal lifetime of the component is equal to whatever answer you get here. All right, Amna? Yeah. Okay. Now, third question. Let us see. Fine, Martin. I, th I think you can complete it. Okay. All right. Just note down these values I've already written and try to solve it. Okay. Now, third question. The following data, okay, gives the distribution of total monthly household expenditure of 200 families of a village. So that means this summation is actually 200. This is 200. Uh, find the modal monthly expenditure of the family. Also find the mean. So can you do that? You have to find the mode and the mean of this data. Mean from any method you can find, Martin. Shortcut method or the assumed mean method or the step deviation method. Um, can you oh. use uh, Sorry? assumed mean? Should I solve it? Um, yeah, no, okay. Actually, I want you to try some questions, right? All right, ma'am. I've just solved one question. By the same method, you have to solve every question here. Okay. Okay. So, mode. Okay, let us talk about mode, Martin. Mode you can directly find by simply looking at the table. Now, maximum frequency is how much? 30, 40, I can see, right? Yes. Understand? Okay, so this 40 is your F. Okay, now the class which is corresponding to this frequency is your modal class. Understand? So this becomes yeah. your modal class. So for this modal class, L, that is the lower limit of this modal class. So your L is this 1500. Understand? Now H is the size of this modal class. That means 2000 minus 1500. So that means there's a gap of 500 here. Understand? H is your 500. Now F1, the frequency of the just preceding class. So preceding class is this. This one, the frequency is 24. F2 is the frequency of the just next following class. That means this class. So the frequency is 33. That's it. Now put everything in the formula and solve. Okay. Okay, one question I'm going to solve now. Let's solve question number four, Martin. Okay, I'm just solving it here, right? This is your FI. So how much is summation of FI? Can you tell me here? 
just add all the values. I'm getting 35. All right. Okay. okay. Now next column is XI. That means middle value of this class. So 15 and 20. So the middle value will come out to be 17.5 that you can check 15 plus 20 divided by 2. That is how much that is 35 divided by 2. And that is 17.5. So this is 17.5, right? Then, yes, okay. Then next, okay, corresponding to this, you are going to get 22.5. Then this will give you 25, 27.5. Now this will be 33.5. Okay, now 35 to 40, that means 37.5 is the middle value. 35, sorry, 40 to 45. So it's going to be 42.5, right? 42.5. Then it will be 47.5. And it will be 52.5. See, direct observation, from direct observation I have written that you can calculate also. Understand? Let us use... Uh, if we use fi into xi, if I do, now you are getting decimal numbers. So it will be a difficult multiplication here. Understand? So let us use a further method. Let's say assumed mean. Assume some mean here. Um, I am taking this as my a. Fine. Yes, ma'am. All right. So let us, let us find my di, which is xi minus of a. Understand? xi minus of a. So xi minus a. So 17.5 minus 33.5. I think you have to do all the calculations separately. 33.5. 5 minus 5, 0. 7 minus 3 is 4. Sorry, I have just the reverse. I have written the reverse. It will be in minus. And 17.5. So 5 minus 5, 0. 13 minus 7 is 6. And then you have 2 minus 1. So I'm getting mark. Uh, yeah, okay. So xi, you write like this. 17.5 minus of 33.5. So the answer will be in minus, understand? Yes, ma'am. So. Yeah. So this will be minus of 16.0. Is that okay? Or minus of 16, you can write. Now this is next. So your xi is 22.5 minus of a, that is 33.5. Next will be 27.5 minus of 33.5. Then you have 33.5 minus of 33.5. 37.5 minus of 33.5. 42.5 minus of 33.5. Then 47.5 minus of 33.5. 52.5 minus of 33.5. Now you can find out all these values. Next. So it will be in minus, but you do the subtraction like this. 33.5 minus 22.5. So 5 minus 5, 0. 3 minus 2, 1. 3 minus 2, 1. So I'm getting minus of 11. So let's not write decimals here because... Ultimately, 0.5 minus 0.5 will become 0. So you will not get anything after decimal here. Next, again, you have 33.5 minus of 27.5. So 5 minus 5, 0. 13 minus uh, 7. Sorry, 13 minus 7 is 6. So I'm getting 6 here, minus of 6. So th this is 0. Next. 37.5 minus 33.5. 
So 37 minus 33 is 4. So you will get 4, right? Now 42 minus 33 is how much? Mm. 5. All right. So 5 minus 5, 0. Now 12 minus 3 is uh, 9. Am I right? Yes. So I'm getting 9 here, right? Is this okay? Yeah, okay. Now 33, 47 minus 33. Seven minus three is four. Four minus one is. So you are getting fourteen. Then next is fifty-two point five minus thirty-three point five. So five minus five zero. Twelve minus of three will be nine. Then you have four here. Four minus three is one. So you are getting nineteen. Is that clear, everyone? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Fine, Martin? Yes, ma'am. All right. Now you multiply your FI with this DI. So the next column is FI DI, right? So you multiply 3 into minus of 16. How much is it? 16 into 3. Come on. 3 into 6 is 18. Carry 1. 48. So you are getting minus of 48. Then 8 into 11, so minus of 88. 9 into 6, minus of 54. Okay, 10 into 0 is 0. 3 into 4, 12. That is again 0, 0. 2 into 19, that is 38. Now you have to add this summation of Fi di. So just add the negative numbers. So you get 8 and 8, 16 and 4, that becomes 20, carry 2, 8 and 2, 10, and then 15 and 19. So I'm getting minus of 190 and then plus, so 12 and 38 you can add. So 8 and 2, 10, carry 1, uh, 4 and 5, 50. So this will be how much? 9 minus 4 is, sorry, 40, minus of 140. Is that okay? Please check yes. summation of FIDI. I am getting this minus of 140. Let us find out the mean. So mean is A plus summation of fi di and divided by summation of fi so this is equal to a a was 33.5 plus now put a bracket because it's minus so 140 and divided by summation of fi is 35 so this is 33.5 plus minus minus 140 divided by 35 uh, this you can cut with the help of uh, table of 7, right? 7 into 2 and then 7 into 5 is 35 and then 5 into 4 is uh, 20. So this is 33.5 minus of 4. So that becomes, how much it, it will become? 29.5, right? Yes, Rida, is it right? Please check the answer in your book.
okay see little bit uh yeah what is the answer given in ncrt please can you please tell me hamna okay anyway see a little bit of difference after decimal is acceptable right that depends upon which method you have actually are you hearing me everyone yes, yes. okay see please see here i have taken this as my a right now if you take let's say this as your a then after doing all the calculations so you might get something a little bit different here right you might get 29.413 something like that so this much difference is acceptable is that okay yes okay so in ncrt i think the answer which is given is 29.214 is that is that is this so yeah yeah so uh, i think if you choose 37 i think they must have solved it by choosing 37.5 so you can uh, like solve the question again and this time take this as your a right and i hope you will get the same answer as this one so in exam this will not be wrong because it depends upon what a you are choosing so little bit difference is acceptable in the exam understood yes but only after decimal not before the decimal it should be 29 point something not 28 or 27 that will be wrong Okay, Martin. Yeah, the round off. In up to two or three places, you can write, but not more than that. Up to three places of decimal, if you are getting that, you can write. So, can I just round this off to twenty nine point five? So that you can write zero zero, right? If you want to write up to three three places of decimal, it will be twenty nine. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Two to three, right? Yes. Yeah, because okay. in my calculations, I'm getting exactly four here, and it was thirty-three point five. So I'm getting only one place of decimal. If you want to write in three places of decimal, so you can write it twenty-nine point five zero zero. That's it. So a little bit of difference after decimal is there. Okay. So now next question, I. you will try in your homework i am giving you just wait question number 5 please note the homework question number 5 you just have to find the mode of this data that you can do clear martin yes ma'am see martin i have already solved so many questions and the method will remain same for every question but unless you will solve it you will not be able to remember it and don't use calculator no one will keep calculator while doing statistics understand everything by hand you have to practice okay now question number 5 homework then next question number 6 uh, okay what you have to find is yeah okay two questions are there that's your homework you have to complete the exercise now okay ma'am in the next class i will be doing median and the statistics will be over then then i'll take a test also shall we have a test on saturday of only mean and mode sure uh, can we take on monday and tuesday tuesday okay then let's have a test on tuesday fine okay. 